Hello everyone, I'm Sayyad Amir and this is my first lecture on C language. In this lectures, I will cover up complete syllabus of programming in C or uh, structured programming approach of Mumbai University. It's there into second semester. So before we start and uh, see the complete syllabus, uh, we'll understand basics of programming. First of all, let's see uh, why, why we require programming. If you see, we have a computer and uh, we are sitting here and we want to communicate with computer. So if you know, your computer only understand one thing that is what binary language it only understand zero one and we understand for example we understand english language so it's not feasible right to communicate with your computer into binary language for example if i want to watch a movie which is there on desktop of my computer and uh, i've been asked to give instruction to binary language so it's not feasible for me to give instruction to binary language and see the movie right so what we do we have someone in between we have programming language right so we will communicate through programming language with a computer let's see one more example real time example so so as to understand what's exactly the need of programming is for example if i have a person here and second person for example this is my person a and this is my person b they want to communicate e with each other the condition is your a just know english language and your b just know marathi language right they want to communicate with each other he can only uh, speak in in english right so it's not feasible it's not uh, possible to like directly communicate between a and b right so there will be some third person who know marathi as well as english we will be calling that as translator and we'll say that's a person c right so now a want to communicate with b so it will say the things into what english language to the translator translator will first understand all the things that a want to say then it will convert that thing into what marathi language and communicate the same thing into marathi to b person b right b will understand the same thing we will understand what uh, exactly you want to say and it will reply into marathi to the translator right it will again understand this thing and communicate the reply of b to a in what english language exactly same thing happen into programming also i will try to map real world with programming so as to understand it more clearly right so here let's see how your computer programming language works here the person a that's v we know normal language we know programming language and here it's your computer who know binary language that is zero one right so we have this computer here we have or uh, we are sitting here and we have what programming language in between we have two things into programming language one is called as compiler and second one is interpreter that is there with all programming languages right so now we will write programs into any specific programming language now we are going with c language we have written a program into c language we will compile it using a compiler what will be the working of compiler with this diagram you can see the compiler will understand whatever we want to say it into what a programming language and convert that into what binary language the this process is called as what compilation process and it will be done by whom the compiler right and second part is what execution part or you can say the reply that will be coming uh, from the computer what reply will be coming from the computer in case of like watching a movie that will be displayed into whatever software we have like vlc we have and that movie will get executed so that execution part is called as what interpretation and that will be done by what interpreter getting that is the basic of programming so we'll be writing the program into any specific language we will compile it and then we will run it right and if you see it again we'll be taking this example english person knows some some uh, like uh, arabic also fine but this person the translator and this person doesn't know arabic so it will say the things to this translator into for example english only but few phrases or few words it uses of arabic will it be able to translate that into uh, marathi 
No, not possible, right? Exactly same thing will happen into programming also. Anything which is not there into programming, if you try to write or any mistake you made, that will not be able to get compiled, right? Into binary language by the compiler. So that thing into programming will be called as what error. So before compilation only, if you have made any syntactical mistake, you will be having what a compilation error. Getting it? So that is the basic of any programming language. We will be focusing on what? We will be focusing on C language only. Now coming to the first program. What we have the first program into all languages? It's hello world, right? So we'll see how hello world is printed into C language. We have to write first line as hash include study io dot h we have void main here then bracket open curly bracket open then we'll write printf statement and in double quotes we will write hello world that's bracket close that's it that's the basic program the output of this program is what hello world will get printed on screen so from this complete program, what do you understand? Into this printf statement, into double quote of it, whatever you write, that will get printed as it is, right? So for example, I want to print my name, right? What I have to do instead of this hello world, I have to print my name into double quotes only. So if I print Sayyid Amir here into double quotes, what will be the output of this? Sayyid Amir will get displayed on screen. Getting it? There are a lot of things into this, right? We have the first line at, as uh, hash include study io dot edge. We have void main and we have this printf statement. Then we have semicolon. As of now, initially, forget about these two things. Remember, we have to write it and we have to write this curly brackets. You will understand each and everything. Don't worry about it. But let me like go for five, six lectures. After that, I will make you understand each and everything. And there are a lot of people, those who make mistake in giving this comment, uh, giving this semicolon. They are uh, very confused where to give the semicolon, where not to give it. So just let me give you five, six lectures. After that, I will give you the trick where to put that semicolon, where not to put that semicolon. You will never comment, uh, you will never commit that mistake. Fine. Okay. So got this print of statement. Uh, that's it for this lecture. That was introductory part of programming and into like C language, how to print anything, right? Into next lecture, we'll see uh, how to declare any variable and we'll see how your scanf uh, function works, right? Thank you.